All right, we'll jump right into part two here. So welcome back again. Again, my name is Steve. And hopefully from lesson one, you've worked on the skating, the gliding, the heel side and toe side side slip. Hopefully you got those good and hammered down. Cause as you can see now, we're on a little bit of a steeper slope. We're gonna need a little more speed to perform the lessons I'm about to teach to you, okay? We're gonna do three lessons. We're gonna start off with the falling leaf or floating leaf. Then we're gonna jump into the traverse. And lastly, we'll jump into the J turn. All right, so let's jump into the falling leaf. Falling leaf. What's important that we remember to do is keep the board tilted, all right? But we're gonna apply a little pressure to the left and right foot, okay? Yeah. We're just trying to control a little bit of direction here. Sometimes it helps to point, a little bit of pressure. If you got young ones, you can try to tell them that there's a little button underneath each big toe and press down on that button a little and release. Press down on that button the other side. That might help the little ones too, all right? So remember how to stand up. Just like a leaf, if I was to drop it in the air, it would kind of fall back and forth like that. That's how we're gonna go down a little ways here, okay? How we do that, look, point, add a little pressure to the side of the foot you wanna go. So I'm gonna go to the right, so I'm gonna add a little pressure to my right side. You can almost point your hip in that direction. And that's it, okay? Just a little bit of a change of direction. Okay? Just a little bit of a change of direction. All the while keeping that board tilted, okay? Tilt and pressure here. Okay, once you feel good with the falling leaf on the heel side, flip it around, you guessed it, toe side, okay? Keeping that board tilted, chest is up, knees are slightly bent, okay? Getting a little wind here. Woo. You might have trouble hearing me because of the wind, but same respect. You're gonna apply a little pressure each, to each side you wanna go to, okay? Looking, pointing if that helps, all right. Heels come all the way up to stop, okay? Back in this direction. So when you feel good with the heel side and toe side falling leaf, we're gonna hike back up and we're gonna jump into the next lesson, which is called Traverse. Traverse. Whew. By the way, we're on a hill called Ballet Hill. It's called Ballet Hill because there used to be a competition back here in the day called Ski Ballet. I'll leave a link in the video description if you want a good chuckle. You can see some really majestic skiing. All right, so now that you feel really good with the falling leaf on both the toe and the heel side, it's time to jump into the next lesson, which is traverse. All right, traverse is a lot like what we just did. We're just gonna be going further across the mountain, okay? a fancy word for saying going across the mountain because sometimes you'll run into cat tracks on a mountain or you got to follow some friends they're like we're going this way we're going this way you got to be able to boot it left or right okay on one edge all right <coughs> yeah excuse me traverse same respect as falling leaf we're going to look we're going to point we're going to aim our hip towards that direction. The little ones, like I said, you can tell them to kind of push on that button below their feet or toes. All right. Keeping that board tilted up. 
hose come up when we want to stop. All right, let's try it to the left. Okay, so you get the idea. That's the heel side traverse. Let's flip it around however you want. Sit down, roll over. A little twist. All right, toe side. Same respect. Keeping that board tilted up. Looking, pointing, a little bit of pressure. Okay. And again, you can do this with a friend that might be a little more experienced. Control is the name of the game. Woo! All right. So work on those two, just like before. Hammer those in till you feel good and comfortable, and then. We take a big step up. We're gonna do something called the J turn. J turn. That's when we're gonna start pointing the board down the hill. Okay, so the third and final lesson, the J turn, J, -j, -j, -j turn, all right? Once you've hammered in all the steps that we've gone over, the side slip, heel and toe, the falling leaf, heel and toe, the traverse, heel and toe, you feel really comfortable with all those lessons. Now we can start talking about turning the board down the hill, okay? Let's get strapped up here. So we talked about tilt and pressure. Tilting the board, right? Applying some pressure on it, the direction we want to go. I'm going to add something new called twist. Twist, okay? What I mean by twist is what we're going to do with our feet is we are going to put one up and one down, okay? So when we do that, the board's going to slightly twist a little okay so I'll show you what it looks like okay here when I twist the board very subtle but it does have a good uh, drastic effect on the board in which direction it's gonna go right foot goes down left foot goes up and vice versa so say if I want to turn say if I want to turn to my heel side going left would be my heel side I'm gonna raise my left foot up and put my back foot down what that's gonna do is make the board wanna go whoosh, 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 like that, okay? That's exactly the kind of turn. We're gonna go straight, twist the board. At this point is where twist takes place. And here is where tilt takes place, so we come to a stop. Okay? Twist and tilt, all right? Feel good? Let's give it a shot here. Uno, dos, tres. So I can twist it right away to get going straight. My front foot's gonna go down, back foot's gonna stay kind of up, and now we'll direct the board downhill, okay? And, you know, it might be wiser to start on something not as steep. But since I have all this room, I'm going to take advantage of it. All right, let's try that again. Whip. Work on that. Feel really comfortable with that. You're getting closer and closer to the turns now. Then once you have the heel side mastered, we're gonna jump into the toe. Same respect, okay? Same board performances. Twist and tilt, okay? 
Right now I'm going to twist it. I'm going to bring this front foot up. Back foot's going to stay down. And you watch me roll this way. Okay, the board's going to take. Whoop. All right, toe edge. All right, it's just the opposite now. When I want to go to my toe edge, my front foot's going down, back foot's going up, twist the board, and I'm able to come to a stop on the toe edge, okay? And let's twist. Just like before, I keep saying, hammer that one in two, okay? We've gone over what today? Falling leaf, traverse, and now the J-turn, okay? As you can see, once you once you master the J-turn, both toe and heel, you know, you've, the mountain's yours. You can look around, you can traverse left and right. And then finally, for lesson three, we're gonna link it all up and try to put together S-turns, okay? So work on those, and we'll see you next time for the next lesson.